So five reasons I would like to say that uh, why we need to grow mushroom because uh, there is a huge agro waste are there in our country. So from waste to wealth and also a lot of unemployment unemployment situation are existing in our India. So it gives a lot of scope and opportunity for the employment opportunity for the uh, youths and uh, landless uh, people and also farm women and also house women. So in a limited area, it gives more production. So it is uh, give the scope for uh, you know people who are holding small small land, and also from nutrition deficiency to nutritional security because uh, uh, by and large in the current scenario the lot of uh, nutritional disorders it has uh, recorded like uh, even vitamin D deficiency and also immune um, less immune uh, uh, to many people are prone to the diseases. So less immune system, like uh, it provide, it will boost the immune system and also it provides the nutritional uh, security to the uh, people. So my plan of talk, it will be like a kind of introduction and then mushroom house construction. So then uh, selection of a suitable species and then cultivation of oyster mushroom, I'll brief about it. And then further, I will a little bit, I'll discuss about the problems in cultivation and then cost of cultivation, um, whether it is a beneficial or not compared to other ender, other uh, agriculture ventures and also future prospects. And then, you know, this processing industry and conclusion and the roadmap. So, so I would like to begin with that. I have uh, collected a lot of uh, mushroom species uh, in Arunachal Pradesh uh, for the past 15 years an edible, non-edible, vast diversity of mushroom I have collected. And uh, so we kept in our um, laboratory. There are more than 450 species of edible and then non-edible and poisonous. And some of them are beneficial. So we have collected and we have classified them based on their category, like the medicinal use, uh, poisonous, non-poisonous, and uh, uh, cultivated one. So we have kept in our laboratory and also we have tried all the species we kept in this. So uh, we are uh, ready to serve the people because uh, the lot of uh, um, people are died due to this uh, mushroom poisoning. It is very common in Northeast India to make awareness. I have collected a lot of uh, mushroom species I kept in the, um, our college. So these are the uh, species you can see here, the lot of uh, species are there. And uh, the traditional way of cultivation still it is more prevalent in Arunachal Pradesh because uh, it is holding huge, uh, um, you know, uh, forest cover area. So people, they do this cultivation, collecting the logs uh, from the uh, forest area and keep it in their uh, yard or they'll keep it in their uh, nearby house. and. Uh, when during the rainy season, it gives a lot of fruiting bodies. This is an old way of tradition of cultivation. Still, the farmers are practicing in it. And Sisophyllum kamine and juice here, and then oyster here, and shiitake. So shiitake, they used to harvest uh, in the month of uh, uh, February and March. And other, other species like Sisophyllum kamine, you can see juice here, and uh, oyster mushroom. These farmers, they collect these logs and keep it in there. This is mainly for uh, household consumption if some farmers are having huge and they can collect and sell it. And then if you see that uh, traditional way of cultivating for their household consumption, and you can see the, the traditional way they just cultivate in the mushroom uh, house and then they will, uh, you know, grow this mushroom, uh, mushroom on their house for their family needs. So the, these are the pictures you can see here. Okay, and then now to the, uh, there's a traditional way still it is there, but then if you uh, look into the uh, perspective for whole country, so it is not possible because urbanization and things are happening. So we have to think, uh, uh, you know, uh, that uh, for the large, large scale production in another, uh, in uh, the, with the existing resources. So uh, I, will, I will classify these uh, two types, a temporary mushroom house, and then permanent mushroom house and then future types. Okay, so that this temporary mushroom house, 
the low cost mushroom so it is depending upon the place if you are in south india or in north or west or east uh, there are some plants are which are available freely and some area palms are very famous if you go to south india you will get a lot of uh, palms and uh, in northeast also it is there are palms uh, then so they can you can use the available uh, material for construction of low cost mushroom house for the startup or the beginners so attached uh, mushroom house it is a very popular here using the bamboo and then uh, palm leaves and also uh, here you can see this uh, in other parts of india you can uh, you will find this uh, grasses they can all we can also use the grasses for construction of mushroom house and also polythene covered mushroom house and then permanent house if you have a, a good amount of money you can invest and build a permanent mushroom house uh, for uh, mushroom cultivation and if you have uh, your budget is uh, very low then you can go for this uh, tin tina or tin sheet or uh, iron sheet one and then rcc types so there are two types and then tin seeds it will last for about 10 or 15 years and then bamboo house maximum 3 years and uh, tina house it is for 5 to uh, sorry 10 years and then rcc types of course uh, 30 years and then future types because apartment types are coming up so you can think about you know cultivating in your uh, nearby you know if you even if you have a 5 meter square area you can cultivate them on that balcony or even the rooftop okay so there is a plan that i will uh, tell you so here this is a, a, we have constructed this mushroom house with the help of uh, bamboo uh, and then uh, you know tokopata uh, which is very cheap that uh, we can build this uh, 40 meter square area house uh, for a cost of you know 50000 uh, to 1 lakh depending upon the place and uh, this is a simple one and also we can construct you know covering with the polythene if you have only uh, you know bamboo then if you don't have you can cover it with the polythene and construction of a mushroom house uh, uh, it is very important when you go for you know um, startup this construction of a mushroom house you will have to choose the place uh, uh, we have to construct them in a east west direction uh the purpose of constructing east west direction is uh, to provide uh, you know less uh, sunlight on the you know the sunlight uh, should not fall on more on the house and we can say uh, it will reduce the heat inside the mushroom house so uh, they reduce the heat uh, inside the mushroom house so we, so we have to construct east west direction and also uh, you know we have to if it is of a summer a uh, time that uh, palm house are better because uh, always it will cools the uh, temperature and uh, we found that uh, you know if you construct the uh, mushroom house with the help of palm leaves uh, there are a uh, 5 to 5 uh, to 10 degree low you can find it and also we can see here uh, that we have to fill the you know um you know floor with a sand for about uh, with a 50 cm uh, height with a sand so we can also uh, uh, construct uh, for rack there are two kinds of racks we can use it we can use the bamboo one or we can use this uh, iron rack one uh, or we can use it you know ring system that i will uh, show you in the coming slides okay so in the mushroom house it is very important for cultivation of any mushroom species uh, because the planning is very important and inside that you have to make a provision for dark room and then for another one is for light room because this fungi used to grow loud to grow profusely in the dark condition so you have to provide as much darkness to the uh, mushroom so it will grow faster so um, you, although you can make a you know provision for light in, for the entire mushroom house but then you have to switch off and cover it with uh, you know gunny sack cloth that will provide more uh, you know uh, sun uh, means a darkness to that uh, fungi okay so and also we have to you know cover it with a uh, 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 gunny sack cloth or we can say jute uh, cloth and that will increase the relative humidity even up to 80 to 85% 
and then depending upon the place uh, we have to sprinkle the water twice in a day or some places uh, single spray is sufficient in our place during rainy season need not to spray at all because uh, we have to check the relative humidity so uh, so before constructing uh, or starting this entrepreneurship first you have to look for you know like uh, uh, the place where you are take the data for five years uh, weather data it is available or you can go to nearby meteorological department get the weather data uh, three weather data is very important you know rainfall and then uh, you know this uh, temperature a uh, minimum and maximum and the relative humidity three parameter is very very important uh, for uh, you know to start up any venture uh, do not go with that uh, you know popular mushroom because your area you cannot control over the weather or climatic situation in your place so so keenly you have to go through the data for the five years uh, that is very important for the startup okay so uh, uh, you have to check this uh, uh, you know this uh, minimum temperature maximum temperature and the relative humidity inside the mushroom house so depending upon if the relative humidity is more than 90 need not to spray and if it is less than 90 you have to uh, spray and then in the cropping room uh, you know you have to provide a proper lighting uh, so uh, the temperature also you have to maintain it uh, so for uh, fruiting it requires a little bit of a low temperature and uh, uh, you need this uh, ventilation cross ventilation two to three hours uh, every day so when you construct the mushroom house make a provision for proper ventilation so open it in the morning uh, three hours uh, two to three hours that will give a fresh air uh, thereby you know uh, it will maintain the oxygen level inside the mushroom house if uh, uh, if you uh, if you are closing you know the whole day and the carbon dioxide level it will increase that will invite the other um, you know harmful fungi so that is very important and also if uh, uh, if you know you can use this uh, mist facilities also if a humidifier or uh, you can increase the relative humidity okay so uh, this is pond running room it is uh, very important where uh, we used to keep the softer bagging we must keep it in the dark condition and the temperature you can maintain a little bit uh, you know higher level for fruiting a lower temperature is important okay so here uh, in this picture you can see here this uh, uh, when you construct this mushroom house as i told you this um, uh, you know direction uh, east west direction and then you know you can use the uh, locally available material choose for locally available material and then you can construct it and make sure that you are you know um, you know this uh, ceiling with the uh, upper cover with the polythene that will retain the relative humidity and it will not allow the you know humidity to escape from the mushroom house uh, so thereby you have to seal the uh, you know uh, roof uh, with the polythene and also side walls with uh, a jute cloth or gunny sack cloth and also you have to provide a proper ventilation for circulation of the air you can see here to maintain this uh, uh, relative humidity and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, relative humidity as well as the temperature uh, this uh, thermometer is it will help uh, i recommend you to you can uh, use this uh, you know dry bulb and wet bulb one so the difference you can see that will give an idea like uh, the dry and the wet bulb this with uh, water so if you spray water uh, how much uh, you know temperature you can bring down that will give an idea and also to uh, uh, this uh, to me to monitor this uh, uh, relative humidity uh, we can uh, keep this a uh, hygrometer so we have to maintain uh, properly you know uh, more than 80 uh, percent and uh, if you see that uh, you know these uh, floors you have to fill it with uh, fine sand and uh, uh, that is very important to retain the water and as i said yeah in my previous slide i have shown this so you can see that uh, inside this mushroom house you can uh, construct the racks uh, you can use this uh, bamboo racks this bamboo racks it says we can use it for only three years uh, because after that it will be soft and it will be uh, you know prone to uh, break and then you know this will, it will turn into black so three years only we can use it uh, but uh, if you go for you know this um, 
iron rats uh, with the help of iron rods if you make them it will be last for long okay and uh, you can see here uh, there are uh, three types we have you can also uh, you can use it if you are um, you know uh, in the rooftop also you can use it to these types uh, in the hanging uh, method like the hanging rack system and also uh, this bamboo racks and also iron racks okay on the side of this uh, bamboo house we can also make this uh, you know for straw dryer uh, you know, slanting way, you can construct this one and then cover it with the polythene uh, for, you know, paddy straw dryer. Okay, so these are the two contrasting house. I would say this in your place, if these uh, uh, palm leaves are available, you can construct with the palm leaves. And if it is of uh, grasses are there, you can construct the grass house. And also you see this uh, low cost mushroom house is for a small startup. If you are a you know, beginner, if you don't have a huge investment, if you have a 5,000 rupees to 10,000, you can go for it. Okay, so you can collect a locally available um, you know, material and you can construct this. Uh, and this cost of construction is a 5,000 to 10,000. With that, you can begin. Uh, but you can see this, uh, it will give an, a good income of uh, uh, rupees 900 rupees per day. And the area also of 15 to squ uh, 20 square meter is uh, more than sufficient uh, to have, uh, you know, three to, uh, three to four kg harvest. And also uh, for a family, uh, you can see this, uh, even if you have unused rags or any kind of this one, also we can use it for uh, cultivation purpose. And this is also, you know, a low cost. And you can see here, you can see that other types with, the, you know, bamboo and then, you know, uh, thatch grass and also here on the thatch grass. Okay. And in the farm also, you can construct, uh, if you have a facility, you can construct this uh, uh, farm mushroom house with the help of uh, palm leaves or coconut leaves. And with that, uh, you know, a roof, uh, we can cover it with a polythene sheet. Okay, even if your place, you know, Western India during summer, it will be very hot. So we can uh, go for, you know, these uh, tunnels, uh, you know, half, um, you know, on the underground. And you can see this, the temperature in this, you can greatly, you can reduce the temperature inside the mushroom house. Okay. And also sometimes a very cheap material with that, uh, you know, we, if you have a flat, uh, unused flexi banners nowadays it's very common so or even after uh, uh, it is uh, you know in the election time or in other times it is available so and that uh, occasions so you can collect these and stitch them and you can construct the house so this inside these uh, tunnels okay and you can see here this is a, a permanent uh, mushroom house RCC types you can construct on the right side. You can see this uh, Tina type, and uh, this is in our college. And we can see this is um, semi permanent. We can say it will last for uh, 10 years. And uh, this will be helpful for cultivating this oyster mushroom uh, during uh, winter season because the inside the temperature will be, uh, it will be maintained properly. Uh, but in summer, this is uh, the temperature is shoots up and the palm leaves the houses are better. Okay, so as I now give an outline about this mushroom house, how to construct, what is the area, and uh, you can choose accordingly, you can, um, you know, build a mushroom house. And then, you know, selection of suitable species also, it is very important. As I given an uh, idea that uh, whatever the region you are, first you take five year weather data and then uh, choose that uh, which, which is the uh, best suitable species, which I'm going to uh, list now. And that species, if you grow, it will, uh, it will come up in you know, a nice way. Okay. So the selection of the species also, it is very important. Some of the species uh, throughout the uh, year, we can cultivate in the plain region, but in hilly region, you can go for, you know, button mushroom and shiitake and, uh, you know, uh, um, other mushrooms. Uh, but in plain, uh, you can cultivate this oyster mushroom throughout the year and the place where, you know, hotter, uh, like, uh, you know, in Western India, in summer, it will be very hotter in Southern India, uh, we can go for this uh, milky mushroom. So uh, I will uh, mm, give some of uh, important, you know, mushroom uh, species, uh, which are grown in a suitable 
temperature. So button mushroom optimum, uh, 16 to 18 degree for uh, fructification. It requires, you know, uh, it is very important for chilling, you know, 10 degree. So, so obviously it will be highly suitable for the hilly region, 16 to 18 degrees centigrade. So uh, um, oyster mushroom, 20 to 30 degree, there's wide range and uh, there are uh, different species also there, you know, uh, different, uh, this mushroom, this oyster mushroom, we can cultivate it throughout the year. Uh, so this is the plan you can see here. There are winter varieties are available. There are summer varieties, uh, whichever is available, we can go for it. Okay, so winter variety, uh, it begins in November and ends in February. And then, you know, this other from February to March, Plirota uh, Sajar Kaju, even you can extend, even go for even up to, uh, you know, October, we used to cultivate and then Plirotus Sapidus. Okay, so Plirotus Astriatus and uh, it is a, a winter variety Plirotus Florida. So we can choose the variety depending upon the, um, weather condition which is existing in your place. And then milky mushroom, as I said, it is a very popular in, um, you know, Southern India and then, and uh, we can uh, cultivate this milky mushroom 30 to uh, 35 degrees an acre, okay? And Padistra mushroom is also very popular in Warisa and uh, other places. And we can see this cultivation, it is, uh, can be done even in an extreme, like even up to 30, 80 degrees centigrade, uh, we can cultivate this Padistra mushroom and we can cultivate in an open place. Uh, it does not require, you know, a proper mushroom house. This is the mushroom we can cultivate even in an open place. And then other uh, mushroom like auricularia or polytrica. So here uh, I'm not mentioning all the medicinal properties and other. The, the earlier yesterday speaker, they have mentioned about, uh, uh, you know, importance of medicinal value of uh, mushroom species and then other scopes so they have scope. So I'm straight away going uh, to that, uh, you know, technical level. Okay. So of course, this oyster, uh, this juicier mushroom, uh, it is good for, you know, this, um, now, gastrointestinal problem, it can be cultivated 22, 28 degree centigrade. From a di a director of mushroom research, uh, they have released a lot of uh, strains and varieties. And this is a polycularia, uh, polytrica and auricularia uh, rosia. Okay. And uh, so the sitake can be cultivated 15 to 22 degree centigrade. Okay. And then other medicinal mushroom also, it is coming up. It is popular in India. And then reshi this Ganoderma 32, 32 degrees centigrade. We can cultivate this. Okay, so uh, now as I said, uh, mushroom uh, house. I have briefed about it, and then what type of species we can choose it. Okay, so uh, I may not have the sufficient time to speak uh, cultivation practices of all the mushroom, but I'll give an uh, example. This is oyster mushroom, which is uh, grown. Uh, from the beginning to the uh, uh, means throughout the year and it is widely more popular in all over India. So I'll take an example of this one and I will give you this cultivation tips and other problems which are uh, existing and uh, we have found a lot of a solution that I will share with you. Okay, so materials required for this uh, uh, oyster mushroom and uh, this is the mushroom you can grow it in even uh, without land also in your house you can cultivate and you can tie these beds and uh, you can uh, keep it in the, you know, even uh, in the table, uh, beneath the table and I have shown, you know, racks if you have unused racks and that also you can use it. So. Um, so a small, you know, even bench or table is more than sufficient to keep four beds that will be more sufficient for household. And then you can go for, if it is of larger scale, you can go further, right? So what are the materials required for this? And the paddy straw, of course, if the paddy straw is not there, the other option is there, you can use other straws, which are the straws available and banana leaves also, we can use it and water hyacinth also we can use it, okay? So whatever the available starting material which are there in your place that we can, we can you can select them and uh, you can store them in a well proper place, okay? So you have to cover it and uh, that they, they should not get, you know, uh, should not keep it in the open place. If it is drenched with water, then uh, that will attract other contaminant fungi. Okay, so paddy straw and uh, you can choose whatever available material and then boiling vessel. Of course, this uh, open pan also it is there and you can use this unused drums, okay, uh, drums, big drums also you can use it, whatever this, you know, available vessels, okay, for boiling purpose, you can choose this one, right? And also polythene size of uh, 30 to 60 uh, centimeter, that is a standard size. 
uh, okay so here conversion ratio is very important uh, this uh, biological conversion ratio for this mushroom fungi is uh, maximum you know 100% so even if you put more straw the it won't give right if you keep it you know for one spawn back of uh, you know uh, 500 g if you make uh, four beds so you have to make it say that uh, 1 kg in one polythene right one, maximum one and a half so accordingly it will give the yield so polythene standard size also it is very important okay so if you take more bigger polythene size so uh, you know less spawn if you put then will be a problem so standard size choosing the standard polythene size is very important and uh, 16 to 30 and then of course uh, this uh, caesar sterilize it and use for only this purpose okay and then uh, this uh, pipe rings we have because in our place relative humidity is very high it will attract a lot of other fungi so we will be covering this uh, you know mushroom bed with this uh, cotton uh, um, with the cotton so we need uh, uh, you know this uh, pipe rings to cover the mouth of the bed and all of course also this is spawn uh, good quality spawn right and then uh, marker pen and cotton these are the material now the steps i want to tell you it is very important then again these steps is depending upon your place right so the place where in dry place you won't get any contaminant like uh, um, you know coprinus or trichoderma in that case you can go for uh, Uh, you can go for other methods but i would suggest you that very common um, methods you can use it uh, the begins with a hot water treatment right so the straw is ready straw or any starting material cut it very small size so 3 to 5 cm and then we have to soak it for about 4 uh, uh, to 5 hours pre conditioning it's very important right and also and also a uh, chemical Uh, methods also there hot water method chemical method steam method there are three methods i would like to brief about it and then hot water method is go for first the hot water method it is a very uh, popular and very convenient method right so cut this straw very smaller size because smaller size the mycelial or spawn run will be very faster in the uh, smaller um, smaller um, size one okay so then pasteurization is is very important uh, pasteurization is uh, very important so this method of pasteurization uh, so we have to be very uh, stand you can standardize for your place also but i tell you uh, you know to reduce the fuel um, efficiency fuel consumption or increase the fuel efficiency so we just boil uh, the water uh, for you know to get boils the water then we will uh, put this uh, pre soaked uh, conditioned paddy straw into this uh, drum and then we will close the lid okay so keep it for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes that's sufficient so need not to boil it again and again uh, that's a uh, heat itself uh, you know it is sufficient to uh, sterilize the bacteria or fungi which are there in the straw and then steam pasteurization it is also you can practice you you should have a pro separate uh, you know this uh, boiling unit and then should have a pipe to pump this uh, steam into the container okay or, or in a room right where these uh, straws you can keep it and then you have to uh, you know pasteurize the uh, you know if you are keeping in the room uh, for 4 hours uh you have to uh, pasteurize it right and then you can adjust this uh, you know this uh, wall uh, depending upon that you can increase or decrease the pasteurization um you know this uh, stream and then uh, we can uh, take out uh, this entire process it will take around you know 3 to 5 days uh, so after uh, you know steam uh, you know you can cool it and you can use it also okay so the next one is um cold water lime pasteurization i tell you this method is uh, worked very well uh, in two years uh, you know in 2000 i can say um, 15 or 16 we had a serious problem of uh, trichoderma uh, trichoderma problem then we have uh, uh, we have started using this method right so lime you know if you add lime uh, to the water around 100 g of hydrated lime uh, per liter of water so what will happen it will increase the ph 
also and also it will uh, it will not allow the uh, trichoderma that is a contaminant fungi which grows on the bed it will avoid it okay so uh, the procedure is same uh, this but we have to use this hydrated lime okay and uh, we have to boil it and then you know um, remove the straw and then you can boil it and then we can um, you know we can use it for bagging right and uh, so this is a hot water method, uh, uh, pasteurization method I have told you, and then lime method I told you, and then hot water method. Uh, in this uh, hot water method, uh, as I told you, this uh, different uh, you know containers you can use, even pan you can use it, or you can use that uh, you know drum. Okay, depending upon the uh, available facility, right? And then cutting of straw manually you can do, or you can use this uh, you know straw cutter. Uh, to cut into chop the straw into small pieces. Okay, so this is a pre soaking of uh, water for two to four hours. And then uh, this uh, transforming of a straw, and then we can boil it. So, uh, to in order to increase the fuel efficiency, as I told you, just to boil the water and uh, put the straw inside the pan and then cover the lid and uh, allow it for 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, then, you know, 20 minutes is more than sufficient to pasteurize all the uh, substrate. Now, after uh, boiling, drain out the excess water and then we have to, um, you know, bring the moisture content into 60%. So, to check this, uh, uh, you know, this moisture content, uh, you know, squeeze method, it is very common. If you squeeze it, if your hands or feel the wetness, then it is six per 60%. If your um, hands, it's not feeling... Uh, this wetness, uh, then, you know, it is less than 60, right? And if water is dripping down after squeezing, then we can say it is, uh, you know, more than 60%. Uh, now, what will happen if the less than 60%? The fungus won't grow. It will take a long time. Uh, this In the mid of this uh, growth, it, the fungus will stop, right? And if it is uh, too much of water, again, the fungus won't grow because excess water and uh, it will attract this bacterial contaminant and other fungi, right? Okay, so we have to optimum, optimize it, uh, you know, moisture content is very important, right? So if it is too much dry, then you have to add, you know, again, hot water to for conditioning for a little bit of time, right? If it is excess, you can dry it for some more time, okay? So these are the uh, pictures. It will, um, you know, it has shown here, like, you know, to check this uh, moisture content of this straw. Okay, so now coming to this bagging is very important, right? So this bagging is very important because this bagging, it will help you to maximize the mycelial run in the bed, right? So always, you know, seed this mushroom spawn on the periphery, right? It will allow the uh, growth, you know, faster. And then, you know, this uh, fruiting also, it will take place faster, right? So... Uh, from the beginning to the end, uh, uh, in this uh, Padista mushroom, so uh, three weeks, if you divide this first two weeks for uh, spawning, uh, I, I think this uh, that is for mycelial run, and then for another uh, week, uh, that is a fruiting, okay? So within 21 days, you can get the first harvest if you properly, you know, uh, bag it okay so uh, so this bagging after uh, you know I, I have i'll tell you this uh, you know stepwise first five centimeter Hello. you can uh, see you can uh, you know uh, fill these uh, bags with a paddy straw and then you can uh, one layer of uh, you know spawn and then you can go up to um, you know 75 percent or 85 percent to get fill up to this um, you know neck all right after this you can um, tie it its mouth and then cover it with the uh, cotton, right? So if you are you, in your place, if the relative humidity is very high, if you are getting a lot of contaminant, you can go for this, uh, um, we can say this, um, um, this cotton method, right? You close it tightly. You should not, uh, you know, uh, pinhole or you should not make any holes on the bed, right? So this method adapted for high relative humidity area where, you know, these uh, contaminants are more, right? Uh, particularly, we have faced this uh, problem of uh, um, pellicularia uh, for the two years. Uh, that is in the year uh, 2011 or 12. So in that time, it helped us more, right? Okay. So the another method is uh, directly you can tie its mouth uh, with a rubber band 
and then you can make lot of holes on the bed and that will uh, more helpful where these you know you are not getting you know much contaminant uh, that will be faster and the air circulation also will be there faster and also the fruiting also will be a little faster okay so after this you can place this uh, uh, bed in a dark room right i tell you that if you provide more dark the mycelial run will be faster right so and then uh, this uh, fruiting is very important within two weeks that it will give this uh, you know a proper uh, mycelial run once the mycelial run is completed you can check and then keep it in the place where uh, you have to provide maximum light we could observe if you provide a maximum light okay you can on the light day and night okay so day and night if you on the light then it will increase the uh, you know mushroom fruiting right so that we could observe right uh, so you can put you know led light uh, we found that uh, uh, you know led light uh, that gives more uh, you know initiate this uh, fruiting body uh, than this yellow color light okay so that we have uh, experimentally we have uh, proven and uh, that will gives the you know enormous uh, fruiting body right so even you can go for even five five harvest up to five harvest we can go for it then harvesting of mushroom uh, once if the uh, you know the you know mushroom is matured and then we can harvest it and properly we can harvest it and then after collection so we can bag it so here in in even in northeast then uh, different the places they'll prefer in different methods like the fresh mushroom always they'll prefer and we can bag, bag it in a, a you know polythene bags or we can seal it also and then we can sell it uh, in the market right so depending upon the customer preference we can pack it and sell it right and uh, even this a uh, proper sealing uh, sealing also we can do it um, and then we can sell okay now this coming to this uh, problems so when you go for this uh, startup there are different kind of problems will persist in different places in our place there are different problems it may not be uh, there in south india or north or west okay so we are faced a lot of problems of this green mold trichoderma and the inky cap so this inky cap is more common in rainy season uh, particularly summer season in our place okay so to avoid this one we have uh, uh, you know this uh, properly what we have done it this straw basically we have to examine this straw if the straw is yeah. black color then we have to remove, this, remove this black color uh, straw and then we have to use only the good quality straw and then next one is we have to provide this a proper uh, ventilation that will allow the fresh air to come in okay and then the next one is a trichoderma it's a very uh, problematic if uh, uh, a farmyard manure Uh, it's nearby any garbage pit or any then this trichoderma is very common because it's a cellulolytic uh, fungi everywhere it is present and that will come so to avoid this one we have used that you know lime treatment for the paddy straw okay that helped us and then the another one is pelicularia as i said this uh, pelicularia also it is uh, uh, problematic in our place so it is making this uh, holes when we made this uh, holes we found this scissors so through scissors uh, it will this pelicularia it will enter into this uh, uh, paddy straw and created this problem so we stopped this you know making holes on the bed and then we have used the rings okay this is a pink mold and uh, that is caused by pelicularia right and then uh, uh, black mold and sometimes this black mold used to come this uh, it is because of you know if the spawn is contaminated that will move to the uh, bed okay now other problem which we have faced is flies if the flies are uh, very common and because it is attracted this flies uh, this mushroom you know this uh, scent that can attract lot of uh, fruiting uh, flies that flies we can capture them easily by yellow sticky traps we can buy this yellow sticky uh, yellow sheet paper and then put some mustard oil that is the best way we did it uh, mustard oil and then apply on uh, this paper and then uh, you know nearby this yellow color light don't put white color light that uh, yellow uh, yellow color light uh, yellow bulb 
uh, that is uh, you know available nowadays it's though it is you know less demand in the market but then you have to put that yellow color light because insects are attracted to uh, yellow light okay so you can put this yellow sticky traps we found that maximum flies are sticked on these uh, you know yellow sticky trap and then we have reduced this uh, insects population inside the mushroom house okay and then of course a black mold i told you okay so to these reduce these insects as i told you and sometimes we can uh, to sometimes this bacterial population also very common so for that we have to use this uh, uh, you know um, this bleaching powder we have found uh, uh, this uh, treating with uh, bleaching powder of 5 gram per liter and then spraying on the bed that reduce this bacterial contaminant and then uh, regular you know cleaning is very important right uh, regular cleaning of a mushroom house and then you know uh, dusting with the bleaching powder in the inside the mushroom house and uh, do not allow any visitor enter into your mushroom house and you can remove your chapel outside and you can enter put some bleaching powder or even uh, you know copper sulfate if it is available you can uh, you know uh, put it in the in entrance thereby you know this uh, uh, bacterial and other contamination be reduced okay so always use this uh, before bagging and you know um, touching the bed you have to sterilize your hand okay so that is very proper you know hygienic maintenance of this mushroom house and uh, you know um, hygiene is very important while handling and the operation of any tools inside the mushroom house that will reduce this contaminant Okay, so these are the uh, pictures. Uh, I could show you that you know, uh, and then if it is a more problematic, uh, you know, this uh, this copriness. One time we had that uh, we have to go for you know this copriness, eliminating this copriness with formaldehyde. Uh, you know, fumigation with the formaldehyde inside the mushroom house, even this spawn lab. Okay, and then uh, coming to this uh, uh, economics, uh, economics of uh, oyster mushroom cultivation, that gives an idea, right? So I have told about this mushroom house and what are the different types of and then one case study example, you know, this oyster mushroom cultivation and then so whether it is a profitable or not before doing any before starting any entrepreneurship, it is good to, you know, just start writing some of uh, materials like your and what is the cost of it, right? So you have to fix the target or you have to have some aim. I will produce to 5 kg per day. Accordingly, you have to make a plan. So for 365 days or only for 200 days. So you have to fix your target and you should have a vision that is very important. And then what are the things? Chaff cutter. If you want to buy chaff cutter, mechanized one, 15,000 or else you can use, you know, um, you know, dao or sickle to cut the straw. And of course, this boiling unit you can buy or you can vessel, uh, buy the vessel, right? So, and then sprayer for spraying inside the mushroom house and then for the bed. And then uh, heat burner is like your, so this is a, you know, uh, initial total investment at our level. I have uh, calculated it may vary in your level, uh, in your place. Okay. And then the type of material also that you can choose. And then uh, fixed capital, if you have a land or you are going to own or you are going to rent, that is very important. Make sure that if you have own land, no problem. If you are uh, owning, uh, then no problem. But if you are uh, taking as a lease, then you have to pay the, uh, you know, rent to the owner. So uh, depending upon that, you have to uh, make, uh, you know, your provision. If you start with, if you have a small land square area, 50 meters square, or you can buy. And, and these are the, uh, you know, land cost in our place. Just I have given, a, you know, outlay. Okay. So fixed cost. So uh, then uh, this uh, uh, depreciation cost also you can work out, say, for example, 10 to 15 percent is a depreciation cost or maintenance cost that you have to maintain it for your mushroom house or for the any, any unit. OK, so 10 to 15 percent is very important uh, for maintenance. OK, so that we call them as a depreciation uh, cost or e that include the interest. Uh, which is taken a uh, loan for construction of mushroom house or any other, right? Okay, now coming to this working cost. So two cost is very important. One is uh, uh, fixed cost and working cost, right? So fixed cost, initial investment and then working cost. So initially, so there's a paddy availability also that is very in your place. So I have given for my, our place. Uh, so paddy store five times in, you know, 2,500 rupees. So it is uh, 12,000. Um, mm, um, 500 rupees okay 
so and then uh, for um a spawn and then 60000 uh, at the rate and then polythene bags uh, 12000 and then fungicides uh, this is uh, for you know carbon dust treatment or any other treatment and then labor input costs and then fuel or electricity miscellaneous it comes under around 188000 rupees so look at this uh, you know um, this income so the cost of mushroom also varies Today, if you want to buy, you know, mushroom in our place in Pasigad in Arunachal Pradesh, the cost of one kg mushroom is 300. But in, if you go to Coimbatore, that is, you know, 100 rupees or sometimes 70 rupees, it's varying. Okay. So you have to, you, you will get more income if you do here or in your place, depending upon that. So we have worked out for our place that uh, total cost and then net income is around uh, 2,25,000. So uh, we have uh, calculated this benefit cost ratio. It gives 1.97. It is much more profitable than uh, going for, you know, other uh, enterprise like poultry or fishery or any other uh, cost. So this is a more profitable one. So future prospects of mushroom cultivation. So I would like to uh, uh, give some this uh, future cultivation. So if you know that, uh, you know, a, a earlier cult cultivation, uh, you say that a little bit, I will brief about the history. It has been started, uh, you know, Thomas in the year 1943 in College of Agriculture, Coimbatore, and then uh, later on by uh, Dr. E. F. Mandel from Germany, uh, from FEO consultant and Solen, he has started this uh, modern spawn laboratory and then uh, ICAR, Indian Council of Agriculture Research, uh, you know, New Delhi started cultivation of pattern mushroom in Solen and also uh, ICR funded research schemes were established in Solen and Punjab and Bangalore and New Delhi. Okay, so um, in NCMRT was established in the year 1982. And then, you know, it has been upgraded in Director of Mushroom Research Solen in India in 2008. Okay. So these are the basic, you know, this history uh, within, uh, you know, 30 seconds. What I said is, so the earlier workers they have established, now we have, uh, you know, uh, Directorate of Mushroom Research who, you know, mainly concentrate on the mushroom and they produce the, you know, um, new varieties, you know, suitable for the different uh, region and locations and come up with a lot of, uh, you know, uh, techniques, which, uh, you know, cultivation techniques to go for, you know, uh, new, um, new varieties and you can have cultivation of uh, new popular mushrooms and so on. Okay. So uh, uh, in these, um, uh, so every, uh, even of course, uh, you know, in Bangalore, IHR, uh, they go for, you know, uh, production of, uh, mechanization of uh, mass production of you know spawn as well as you know bed bags preparation and so on so uh, these uh, you know government sector they are working uh, you know to for the benefit of the farmers in, particularly in the mushroom so we have to uh, we have to get that information and we have to um, look into it because the demand is growing so the, the in future, it is uh, people are looking for a quality and nutritionist food, okay? So people look for medicinal value and a healthy food. So uh, there are a lot of uh, scopes for mushroom cultivation in India, okay? Because this uh, slowly, this uh, per capita consumption is increasing. So from 90 gram, uh, this uh, percent is earlier, it was a 30 gram. Now it is, uh, you know, increased up to uh, 90 gram. Uh, but it is we are we are far low we are far far low Hola. from USA and China. Okay, so in USA 1.46 kg and China 1.16 kg. Okay, now so these are the future prospects. So this is a package now like, like ready to you know grow. You pack it everything and then you know in a house if you open it the mushroom will comes out. So any industry or startup it comes up with you know this idea right. So spawning also like. You know, if you want to produce grain spawn or liquid spawn, right? And so that will help you, right? So uh, ready to grow packets are available. So you can pack it and seal it, everything you can sell it. So a kind of idea you need it uh, from the, you know, from the spawn or even the bagging or bedding, you can prepare the bed also, you know, you know, a meticulous way and you can sell it. And also like uh, after harvest, there are processing and post harvest. Okay, so a lot of uh, scopes are there, right? So uh, in this, I would like to I have uh, acknowledged this IHR. We have received the missionary from IHR 
Indian Institute of Horticulture Research in Bangalore for uh, ma uh, mass production of uh, spawn, right? So mechanization also it helps. So because uh, the labor requirement reduces the labor requirement and cost of production also it will be very low. We have uh, a unit here uh, for mass multiplication, uh, mass production of uh, spawn. And uh, there are different operation is there for every operation there is the instrument. So mechanization, it is a uh, you know, future. So uh, grind cleaning, grind boiling, grind mixing, grind filling, sterilization and inoculation. These are the important steps in spawn production. So grain cleaner, machine, and then boiling of grain with the help of machine, then grain mix mixing with the help of machine. Uh, grain filling with the help of machine and also sterilization, autoclave, and then inoculation also mechanized. So everything is mechanized. So, so these all the uh, you can see this. Uh, this is a, a grain cleaner. So uh, clean grains are received here, and then you know this uh, mixing of uh, um, grain. This is a boiling unit. We can dump uh, this paddy grain into this. Uh, we have a capacity of hundred kg. Okay, 100 kg uh, boiling unit. Um, this it will we can maximum we can boil up about uh, one quintal 100 kg, and then this is a boiling. After boiling, you can directly um, dispense into the mixer. Uh, this mixer and uh, where you can mix it with uh, calcium carbonate, and then uh, we can uh, bag it. Okay, so we have this uh, unit here in our college that is uh, supplied by IHR. Okay, so we can also use it uh, this one for uh, mass uh, large quantity production. Okay, so and then after you know mixing proper mixing. Okay, this is a, a bag filler. Uh, so we can set the quantity of kg or one kg depending upon that's automatically it will fill. Okay, now processing industry in India. Now this is another future prospects. So uh, that the big the in future prospects as i said starts with you know this spawn production mechanization and also you know this value uh, means uh, like um, like uh, innovative idea like you can already you know pre filled or uh, spawned uh, bags you can sell it and also like uh, the another one is a processing like the here i want to say that even now the people used to collect uh, from the uh, forest area and then they will you know dry it and they are selling it okay the first one is dry method another one is a fresh consumption many people opt for uh, fresh consumption and then you know uh, in metros uh, in cities they uh, most of the people prefer for processed one okay so depending upon the region you have to work if you are so you can sell it if you want to sell your product you know you can process it and sell it in a uh, cities Okay, now to tell you in uh, uh, in northeast uh, Imphal, I have visited. I could found that uh, you know Imam Market where you can find this selling of all the dried mushrooms, starting with this split kill fungi, Sisophyllum comini, and also Shita kelentinus edodes, and then oyster mushroom the other side. In, uh, most of the shops they are selling it. So you, you may wonder this one kg it is uh, uh, Shita ke, it is uh, three thousand rupees. So hundred gram if you buy three hundred. Like a size of alum community also almost 2,500, right? So one kg it is uh, more expensive because um, after drying, you know, uh, we can sell it in the market. It fetch a lot of uh, you know prices, right? So we can dry it and sell it, right? So the people here, uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, we can if you are not able to sell, we can dry it and you know sell it, right? So dried mushrooms are. Um, you, you can go for, you know, dried mushroom, you can pack it. And even if you go to, you know, foreign, uh, you can see that in foreign countries in USA and UK, people try to prefer, you know, sometimes dried one, okay? Solar dried or, you know, uh, woven dried, uh, you know, mushrooms, they just even in Morchella or Shitake, uh, they prefer, right? Um, so this, uh, you can go for this one. Uh, and also other uh, uh, recipes, okay? So after harvesting, we can go for other, uh, you know, products like, uh, um, you know, cutlet or samosa or mushroom uh, soup, and then, uh, you know, mushroom pickle, and also like uh, other, um, these, uh, you know, mushroom recipes, it, uh, it is varies from place to place. If you go to South India, people prefer always biryani, so mushroom biryani, okay, and uh, mushroom dosa, and uh, mushroom omelette 
and uh, if it is if you travel in north india and you will find this mushroom cutlet so depending upon the place uh, thus you can even uh, process to food also you can prepare it so that is another way right so pre cook uh, sorry uh, you know process to food ready to cook so in that way we can uh, think of it and we can um, make right and you can say this uh, these all the you know things like uh, uh, this uh, uh, mushroom soup and mushroom curry mushroom mata mushroom masala mushroom tikka mushroom jeera mushroom chili mushroom butter mushroom biryani mushroom pakora okay so these are the different types right okay so the processing industry so i i would like to say that uh, there are a lot of uh, processing industry in india so uh, they are you know they are doing well i can say this agro touch industry they are producing you know 50000 uh, uh, you know uh, tons per annum with a tune of uh, 125 you know tons per uh, day there is a you know largest uh, agro industry uh, uh, in india and also you can see this uh, you know flax uh, food uh, there are doing mushroom laboratory also they are producing you know large scale of uh, uh, freeze and dried butter mushroom and they are exporting to uk and then himalaya international limited uh, they are also you know producing you know uh, 10000 metric tons of uh, canned mushrooms right and then swari foods and farms private limited they also you know are uh, producing you know 7 7000 kg per day so a lot of industry they are going for you know like um, dried one or fro frozen one uh, you know uh, and then uh, processed one so we can opt for uh, you know uh, whichever is more suitable right so um, so processing industry that uh, you know demands or we can say that uh, flores when the customers uh, the depending upon this customer this uh, in in recent days the people are you know looking for this mushroom and they are looking for a, a mushroom food because uh, it boosts the immune system and it provides vitamin d and uh, so uh, the dmr and director of mushroom research also they are looking for a, you know producing the new varieties which are fortified you know with the uh, vitamin d or you know um, the other uh, characters and then mechanization and then uh, processing right uh, as i said you know uh, dry one or frozen one and then post harvest product okay so this post harvest product i have given a little bit of so that also we can go for it so sometimes they'll ask for you know um, uh, startup so where we can get the fund these are the very common thing uh, so uh, for them I, i would say that you know nabod is there and then uh, uh, national horticulture board guwahati so this is for northeast i said so for other place in, in your own state you have and then even uh, nowadays you know prime minister launched this one you know rafta and uh, you know for a beginner or startup they will provide uh, you know 5 lakhs Uh, for initial uh, to start up the industry and then 25 lakhs once if you are established this so a lot of uh, funding opportunities are there uh, for the beginners okay so um, so if time permits i will like to touch this uh, tissue culture also madam can you can you give me the time because i have spoke 55 minutes still if i have ah, yes, time, yes 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 you can continue sir no issue okay uh tissue yes. culture and spawn production just for 5 to 10 minutes and then we can go for interaction okay tissue culture what we have learned okay so we were doing it successfully tissue culturing of uh, uh, mushroom here so tissue culture also we can uh, we can sell this uh, tissue culture one two we are selling at a cost of uh, 2000 rupees right so this also you know one of a, a commercial venture we can prepare a lot of tissue culture uh, tubes and then you can sell it okay so i will just outline given outline how to do this uh, tissue culturing right okay materials record so um mushroom fresh mushroom always uh, prefer to uh, have a fresh mushroom you can maintain it because the virulency will lose it if you try to get the spot uh production uh, so three generation after three generation if you use it the virulence or this productivity of uh, uh, mycelium will be reduced so we have to go for a tissue culture 
so if you have a, you know spawn laboratory you must have a tissue culture laboratory also to maintain the virulence of the variety for them so just i'll give an uh, outline so for mushroom uh, fresh mushroom always choose this a uh, fresh one not older one okay uh, sterilized blades forceps and then uh, mercury chloride 0.1% to sterilize the tools laboratory tools and then distilled water and then petri plates and then pda media potato dextrose agar media you can easily prepare it with the help of potato dextrose and agar it is available okay uh, in even in amazon other business partners okay so you can get, get nowadays it is available right all the items are available in online so the selection of a good quality mushroom is very important so uh, just after the pin head if emerge out uh, so within 2 to 3 days uh, within 2 to 3 days it should not be too old okay so it should not be uh, totally yellow color if it is change yellow color avoid it okay so this is a tender fresh mushroom you just take it and then uh, so we have to sterilize this chamber so this is sterilize this chamber also very important so it's, it's, it's sterilization chamber is uh, nowadays it's one lakh so we have developed a low cost uh, um, chamber uh, this laminar flow this laminar flow we have made it even 5000 rupees uh, for the farmers, we have uh, even given the technology to the farmers uh, how to make this low cost laminar flow five within 5,000 rupees. Okay, you need not to go for expensive one. So you cover it with the black color and uh, you know, uh, light on this UV. Or uh, if, you, if you have, uh, you know, wooden or that uh, locally made uh, uh, one, so we can sterilize the chamber with the help of a spirit. Okay, and after sterilization, so uh, you must uh, um, heat this uh, the PDA media, so which is going to use it uh, for uh, culturing of uh, this mushroom, and then uh, sterilize this uh, place or enter uh, you know this working bench or the desk area, and then sterilize all the tools you know uh, this blade and even forceps and and so on, and after this you have to cut only the uh, the junction between the uh, gills and the stem. Why I'm telling is in that place only where we will find uh, this growing region. Okay, so this mushroom, this grow, uh, this potential of that cell will be more. Regeneration capacity of the gel will, cell will be more on the place where this stem and, uh, you know, gills are joining. Okay, exactly where this umbrella like, okay, when I say this, the joining place. Cut that portions, cut into small pieces and then sterilize them into uh, 0.1% mercury chloride. Keep it only for you know um, three minutes. So three minutes is more than sufficient. After that, uh, take it out and then uh, wash it you know in a sterile water for three times. Okay, three different uh, petri plates, and then uh, remove all the excess uh, uh, water, and then you have to plate it on the PDA media. Okay, so these uh, sterilized plates you have to pour the media allow it for cool down and then you have to keep these uh, you know bits mycelial bits on the plate and then you can cover it with okay so uh, these plates also available okay one or two plates or five plates uh, you can use it and uh, so you can keep it one or two mycelial bits on the plate and you can uh, incubate it okay so incubation so you can keep it in the incubation chamber or in a normal in open room condition so uh, it will grow started growing okay so seal it with the paraffin after keeping this mycelial bits seal it with the paraffin and then incubate it okay so this is uh, uh, you know plates uh, you know kept for uh, incubation and you can see this uh, well grown uh, mycelium right so in this way if you cultivate and then you can also make use of this culture and we can go for it and this is uh, one plate in a tube we are selling 2000 rupees okay and then uh, spawn production also uh, slightly actual because the spawn production machinery i have uh, uh, told you uh, this uh, spawn production also it is uh, very important so uh, always uh, preferably you uh, prefer these uh, um, 
this is starting material okay so the starting material uh, what are the starting material record i will explain okay so the prime most thing is uh, this uh, paddy grain you can use this a uh, paddy grain or maize grain or this uh, ragi or finger millet and so on okay so we found that uh, maize is the best one for our place it grows very faster and then uh, it is uh, available the availability uh, this uh, it is available in plenty and also this uh, paddy grain also it is available so um, we found that maize grain is better so paddy grain uh, this um, we can store it for long and whatever available grain in your place okay even ragi is available it's the best when i say that okay you can use it okay so but uh, uh, cost of ragi grain is very costly uh, sir sorry to interrupt you in between but sir okay. can you sum up in one or two minutes sir okay madam okay all right i'll stop here so these are the materials uh, required for uh, spawn production right so uh, cleaning of uh, uh, this uh, paddy grain and then uh, we have to boil it and then autoclave mix it with uh, uh, you know calcium carbonate and then bag it and then you have to sterilize it okay so sterilize after sterilization you can uh, incubate it uh, uh, in the room or you know incubate in the room you can incubate it set the temperature uh, you know ideal temperature is 22 degrees centigrade okay so uh, with this i want to uh, sum up that uh, this mushroom have a lot of uh, scope and uh, if you want to start up and you can uh, go for it and you can uh, plan it uh, as per your locality and study it's uh, you know first thing is you have to study uh, the suitable uh, condition of it and then you can choose the mushroom and uh, depending upon the availability of uh, this uh, spawn you can go for a new startup and also you can have you should have a good idea okay you can have an idea that uh, uh, what type of uh, you know product i can make it okay so depending upon that you can excel in this mushroom cultivation there are a lot of uh, scope is there okay so with this i thank the organizer and uh, all the participants thank you for uh, listening so if any queries and question i have given my email and